Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure you've noticed, I am not in the salon. I am actually in my home office because we are in a lockdown. We're making the best of it. We are having a little bit of fun and I wanted to film an updated video for you. You guys really loved my video. That is called Marketing Ideas for Nail Techs, How to Fill Your Book. That was two years ago. A lot of the information in that video is still relevant, but I wanted to add to it and I wanted to hit back on some of those points because they are really important. While most of this video isn't specifically how to fill your book, we kind of all know that when you have a larger following, you have more people wanting to get in. I feel like one goes hand in hand with the other. It also makes me feel a bit weird because it's not all about your following. Your worth as a nail tech isn't about how many followers you have, but it really helps to fill your book if your following is large. That being said, if you can take even one point away from this video to help you put even one more person in your chair, then that is what I would love to see from this. So let's just get started. They're small tips. They're just easy things that you can implement throughout your day. I am still using the same words, the same verbiage as I did in the last video. These are coffee break ideas. These are ideas that you can implement in 15 minutes. These aren't things that you have to change your life for. You don't have to schedule out time to work on your Instagram. There are things that you can do like that, but these are things that you can do in a coffee break moment. Let's get at it. First, let's start with where are you getting your content? Where are you getting enough content to keep your posts rolling, to keep the interest there? That's really difficult sometimes because if you're not taking pictures of each and every nail appointment that you finish, which let's be honest, we're not, I don't know about you guys, but especially now with new regulations and things that are happening, I'm using more time to clean, I'm using more time to get ready for my next client, and I'm also using more time to speak with my clients in between appointments, I'm not necessarily taking pictures of nail art like I used to. So here's something you can do. Check out Pinterest. Check out the newest, hottest kind of nail art trends that are also salon appropriate so that you can do within the allotted amount of time. It doesn't matter if it's an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it is. Make sure that it's something you can do within your allotted amount of time. Maybe do those on a practice hand or on tips that you can purchase anywhere. You can purchase full tips anywhere now and take a picture of those. Maybe lighten it up. It doesn't need to be fully edited. You can even throw your logo on it, which is actually recommended and throw it out there as a post. You can also use articles or Facebook groups as ideas to make reels or to make an infographic sort of post. Maybe there's a lot of posts on a local beauty page that are asking how they can keep their cuticles healthy this time of year. It's January. Right now I'm looking at the window. It's snowing. It's so cold. It's like 40 below. We haven't been able to go out in a week. What are you doing to keep your cuticles healthy? You can make a reel about that if you have time. You can make an article about it if writing is your thing. If speaking is your thing, you can make a little video about it. You can go live about it. There's so many ways. Just don't put yourself in a little box of needing to make things exact all the time. Maybe it's a live. Maybe it's a reel. Maybe it's exactly how you look right now. Maybe you're going to do your hair and makeup about it. For it. About it. Another really great idea is finding accounts within your niche. So the people that you follow, the people that you look up to, go to their account. You don't have to verbiage, word for word, I don't know what words are today, it's really hard for me. You don't have to copy word for word what they're doing, but get your inspiration from them. Maybe they have started posting Valentine's Day nails. Maybe they have started posting five things that are good policy for the salon. Maybe they have posted a few things that make you a better client or one of those funny little things. Grab that and run with it. There's also times and reasons why you should reuse old content. Reasons would be time, energy. Your entire following does not see every post. They're not necessarily seeing every single time that you post. So if you take that and you change it a little bit, you add, you take away from it, you make the post a little different, you make the, the caption different, and you re 
repost that content, there may be a whole slew of people that haven't seen that from you yet. Stories are another good thing to touch on. Stories are a great place to get to know, for your clientele to get to know who you are. They've seen your nail art, they've maybe followed you, they've thought about getting an appointment with you, but they weren't sure. And then now that they're seeing your stories and they really like your personality and they think you're funny and they think you have cool clothes or a cool home or whatever it is, that may be the one thing that makes them contact you. And you know what? Even if it doesn't, that doesn't mean that they're not going to say to their friend who maybe, you know, maybe they don't live in your city, but maybe their friend does and they can say to them, hey, I follow this nail tech and she is super freaking cool and you should go see her. It's all worthwhile. None of it is useless, so don't ever think that. Sometimes it's easy to get into a rut with social media and to believe that maybe what you're putting out there is just useless, you know? You might have posted something and it got like four likes. That's fine. Maybe repost that as reusable content a month down the road. Maybe then it will get this huge response that you weren't even expecting. Sometimes it's just about the right time and the right place, and sometimes you can't predict what that is. You can look at your algorithms and your insights and figure out what is the best time to post. It really is just dependent on how much time you want to spend on your Instagram. Now these are things that I do offer as a service for you. If that's something you'd like to talk about, you can contact me on Instagram and we can have a chat about it. I really enjoy helping people help themselves. If this has been interesting to you or if you have gotten even one thing from it, please comment down below and let me know what that one thing was. Please make sure you subscribe and have a great week.